Why are pronouns so important to some people? People mention name pronunciation already, but I'll specify unsolicited nicknames. I like to be efficient but have learned to always check with someone before calling them Steph if they hate it and prefer to be addressed as Stephanie. I like them so you don't have to keep referring to subjects by their names every time. For instance, I say I or me instead of my him instead of Steve. Got called ma'am once. I'm a six feet three dude. So I simply called the woman who did that sir. She looked confused. And we both went on with our lives. Same reason why some people don't like nicknames. If you wanted people to call you Jonathan, but everyone kept calling you Johnny, it would be pretty annoying. And you wouldn't like it. By using their preferred pronoun, you are referring to them in their preferred manner. I work adjacent to a state program and given the vast diversity of cultural names. Having pronouns standard in email signatures helps figuring out the proper salutations and pronouns. To use without having to figure out names I've never seen before. That it also allows trans NBGNC to display theirs without actively outing themselves is just a bonus. On a basic human level, I think someone asking to be called a specific pronoun is someone asking to be loved and recognized for who they are perceived themselves to be. When I see it that way, Calling someone their preferred pronoun is such a non-threatening or self-draining way to love them. It literally costs me nothing but a few seconds to listen and then apply. Why would I deny something so small that is of no direct consequence to me but of great consequence? To them, at their core, everyone wants to be seen, understood and validated. My language is gender neutral. So this is really funny to me lol. I male had long hair over the summer. And I worked with children from all over the world in Oakland. They would keep calling me Mrs. I know they are just kids but after being called Mrs. for half a summer I completely understand. Why people get upset for fighting a battle I don't understand. That's just my take though. As a straight female who has never questioned my gender identity. I couldn't possibly pretend to know what it feels like to be viewed labeled as anything else. People whose body does not match their identity often do not have that same confidence. I think pronouns are important to show respect. Respect that John prefers she her or they them. It hurts nobody. There is no negative impact by using preferred pronouns. For the same reason that names are important to people. They are how people are addressed and are highly personal. How would you feel if someone called you the opposite of what you identify as? The best metaphor I've heard for this is that it's like stepping on someone's foot. If you accidentally step on someone's foot, immediately apologize and correct the situation, you should be fine. They might still get mad at you, but it'd be an overreaction. You go about your day. If you continuously, intentionally step on a person's foot, over and over again, even when they make you aware that it bothers them, then you're just being an asshole and deserve to get punched in the face for it. Pronouns in and of themselves aren't important. What's important is acknowledgement of the human being in a way that is consistent with that person's self-identity. Pronouns happen to be something that we use in daily communication. Hence, the prominence of this topic. You don't need to agree on the person's path or choices but the basic level of respect is respect. To the identity. For the same reason your name and ethnic background could be important to you. People don't like to be misidentified. Not everyone identifies with what they outwardly appear as. The real question is why do some people care so much what other people want to be called? If you introduce yourself as Richard, but call me Rick, I'll call you Rick. It's not that fucking hard. I know a million people with nicknames. It's never once hurt me or bothered me to call them by what they want to go by.
I know a bunch of people who go by they them pronouns. They mostly don't get upset if someone makes a mistake. But so often when a person gets another person's pronouns wrong, it's not a mistake. It's a deliberate attempt to assert that non-binary people don't exist or that trans people don't exist. It's as if someone says, in effect, I know how you identify and I don't care. So often it's not really about the pronouns. It's about the underlying anti-trans sentiment. For trans people, getting misgendered is pretty much linked to transphobia or dysphoria. So being misgendered can be discomforting or make the person who did it look like a total jerk. And for people who are not trans, it could have to do with not looking as masculine feminine as they want to. Although you don't see cis people get misgendered a whole lot. Hi, trans person here who has changed their pronouns a couple times. Different pronouns have certain connotations. And having some of those connotations essentially applied to me when I'm pronouned in a particular way feels like ass. Being gendered correctly affirms that my actual self is being acknowledged. Not the person everyone wanted to see my whole life. I feel very invisible when I'm misgendered. It's important to everyone. And not some people. I'm sure if someone went around calling you she when you consider yourself a he you'd be pissed. Or vice versa. If it's a misunderstanding it's one thing. But the problem starts when someone does it intentionally. Or consistently misunderstands enough to where it feels like no effort is being put in. It's an especially obvious issue when it comes to a trans person that people don't like. They won't intentionally misgender a cis person they don't like. But they will intentionally misgender and invalidate trans people. If someone repeatedly called you Terry but your name wasn't Terry then eventually it'd piss you off. Same thing with pronouns. Everyone cares about pronouns. I bet you wouldn't enjoy someone using pronouns you don't identify with to refer to you. Consistently and despite being asked to change. Gender dysphoria and gender euphoria. Gender dysphoria is a mental disorder that causes significant distress when being misgendered. Dead named. Being perceived as the wrong gender. Having sex characteristics associated with their birth gender. Etc. Gender euphoria is essentially the opposite of GD. But obviously not a disorder. It's the feeling of happiness affirmation by being gendered properly. Called the correct name. Being perceived as the right gender. Etc. I. A cis man. Would not like to be referred to as she or her the same way a non-binary would not like to be. Referred to as whatever they don't like to be referred to as. It's common decency if someone doesn't like when you do or say something. You should probably not do or say that thing. Because gender is important to them. And because names are important. You wouldn't want to be called by the wrong name all the time. A pronoun is just a substitute for a name. It is good for that substitute to align with your identity. If I called you the wrong pronoun you'd be upset too. I'm pretty anti-woke, but think about it this way. Me, as a man, if people constantly called me she and her it would in the very least be annoying if not eventually. Very upsetting. Especially if people began to do it consciously and with malicious intent. I mean, as a cis woman, I don't like being called he him. I am not one. It's like being called the wrong name. It is not my identity. How would you feel if you were consistently referred by the wrong pronoun? Pronouns are important to everyone. Most people just don't realize this because their pronouns are respected since birth. Out of politeness, it's not such a big deal. Pronouns are something everyone cares about. It's just a basic respect thing you do. Like think about going to your friends or a parent guardian and just calling them a pronoun they don't identify with. They'll either get annoyed or at the very least get uncomfortable after a bit.